Hey guys, what's up? Real good time here, back at it with another video, back at it with another real good time. Alright guys, now something that some of y'all may not know about me is uh, I'm originally from Alabama and a small town in Alabama called Gadsden, Alabama, okay? And recently, well, not even recently, probably past 10 years, rapping, famous rapping, has become a, uh, a big thing for the local teens there. And, uh, you know, as a lot of you know, um, Yellow Wolf came from Gadsden, and he made it big. The guy made it big. He's rapping with Eminem. He's rapping with freaking, you name it, he's rapped with them. Uh, and, and it's great. The guy did great. He hit the jackpot. He did great. He's out of Gadsden. He's doing big things. But the problem is, everybody else in Gadsden saw this, and they were like, oh, maybe I can do the same thing. So what happened was, it generated a generation of rappers that thought they could make it big too, and it did not go over so well. Some of the famous rappers and the two that we will definitely look at today are Pretty Boy, Lance Stevens, Lance, I don't know his full name, his name's Lance something, but he goes by Pretty Boy, heck of a rapper, heck of a guy, Jay Shorts, aka John Michael Anderson, I knew him growing up, great kid, great kid. He turned into a disaster as an adult. I'll tell you what, you'll see him in the videos. You'll see him. Complete disaster. He goes by J Shorts. Kind of like the name. So I must say the rappers in Gadsden have gone nowhere. They have failed miserably. But they keep trying and that's what I love about them. So let's jump right into the first rapper and his name is Pretty Boy and you're instantly going to know why his name is Pretty Boy. This guy is sexy AF. As soon as you see him, it's like, boom, Pretty Boy. That's his, it's, it's the only name he could ever have. He gets tons of girls. You'll see in the videos. I got something special playing for you. Come in meet the bus. Pretty Boy featuring YB the long way. And I think, now I'm going to warn you right now, Pretty Boy is freaking nasty. So if you have sensitive ears and you don't want to listen to these lyrics, I advise you to get off the video right now because it's about to get gross. And I'm talking gross. The song, The Long Way, you know what that means? Think about, just think about it for a second. Pretty Boy is going to give it to you the long way, if you know what I mean. That's just a preview of what you're going to see in this music video. It gets nasty. But let's jump right in. You let me give it to you, but he didn't give it right. Baby, I'm going to give it to you. Now, Pretty Boy is decked out all day, every day in polo. He's got the polo hat. Guaranteed. He's got the polo shirt buttoned up and his swag is impenetrable, okay? It gets the women, they go crazy for it. Yeah, you had to deal with me. Baby, I'm gonna give you that strong. And we gonna go all week. I'm gonna get to you, love. I'm gonna get to you, love. As you can see, he's already in a hot tub with a freaking... Actually, you know, she's not that hot. I'd say she's like a seven. So he's in the hot tub with a seven. He can do much better usually. I guess today was a bad day for him, but let's see what he does with this seven. He's a nasty man. Yeah, you had to deal with me. Baby, I'm gonna give you that strong. And we gonna go all week. I'm gonna get to you. The confidence that Pretty Boy has when he is looking that woman up, up and down like, I'm going to give it to you long. He bites that bottom lip. And he, oh man, he knows what he's about to get. It's pretty boy. He gets what he wants. Yes, you love my sex. Yes, you love my endurance. Hoping that the pussy got life insurance. 
God. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, like I said, guys, she's about a seven. He's got an average girl in the hot tub with him. Which blows my mind. It's like, you're making a music video about you boning a lot of women. Okay? If you're going to make a music video about that, get the local Dom piece to jump in for the video, pay her a hundred bucks, gear to do the video, and then get her the freak out of there. Why would you bring in a seven? A seven. She has a gut. She has a gut going on. Mediocre face, generic tattoos. Why would you, dude? There's gotta be, you've gotta know a dime piece somewhere. Everybody knows that one dime piece. Call her up, get her in the music video. Is that so difficult, pretty boy? Because right now, you're not living up to your name. Okay, I see this girl and I'm thinking, you know, I can get girls that good. And I know pretty boy. I thought you get to have me and my dick for free. No need for no coupon. You freaking that already, baby. Okay, now this is something that you're gonna see in a lot of pretty boys' videos. When he hits that solo, he hits that high note and he's very sweet. He's very gentle, emotional, personal with that woman he's about to bang. But when he gets into the rap mode, when that chorus ends and he goes right into that rap mode, the verse, he goes gangster on you. He's got a very masculine voice, one that just sounds like he's a, a, a gangbanger, and he can just turn it on like that. It's very talented. Pretty boy, he's the only one I've seen that can do this. That rock hard dick got your pussy so swollen. In other words, my dick the trainer. And yo, live it dumb, but stole. He's got great analogies for his you know what. He said that his you know what is Katrina and her you know what is the levee and it's about to break open. Great analogies. He's, he's really good. He's a lyrical genius. A lyrical genius, and you're gonna see it very often in songs. Look, there's he's got a real good line coming up here in a minute. Down from your head to your feet, it's Halloween, my tricks for your tree. Your last man was an inchworm, and I am a python. You get the, the old man's an inchworm, he's a python. So now we know that pretty boy he's packing. Pretty boy's packing. No surprise, but that confirmed it, and it all the women out there, they like to hear that. Lyrical genius. And like I said, guys, if your ears are sensitive, get the freak out of here. Now, I'm not saying this stuff, so you can't put this blame on me. I'm not saying this nasty stuff. This is all pretty boys saying this. But he's a genius, lyrical genius. He says, I'll have a warrant out for your arrest. You've been swallowing my kids. I'm going to call that child abuse. Now that's nasty as it gets. And honestly, I feel uncomfortable even saying it. But he has a way with words. I'm get to you no The black guy's just sitting there like this, waiting to unload the nastiest lyrics in the world. Because you're about to hear it. It's nasty. Like, you thought Pretty Boy said some gross stuff? You have not heard anything. YB is a lyrical genius, again. He has a way with words, just like Pretty Boy, except he brings things to a nastier level. Because, you know, he's, he's, he's a real gangster. His name's YB. <sighs> Just watch this guy, he unloads. These guys and rappers, I don't know who their producers are, I don't know who's editing these videos, but they have gotten rock solid. They're good. Did you see that slow motion effect? That was good. It was real good stuff. Hey, let's move on to our next rapper and this is he's one of my favorites and like I said I grew up with this kid I know all about him 
His name is Jay Shorts, okay? His real name is John Michael Anderson, but that is like the lamest name ever. So he had to change it to Jay Shorts. And I don't, I don't blame the guy. He's of Romanian descent, very Middle Easterner looking, but he's a gangster. He is a gangster. You'll see him. He, he's, he grew up in the streets of Gadsden. I mean, this guy, you'll see. How'd you get interested in music, John? Man, Jay. Uh, I just, I just love music, man. You know, I've always, I've always been into that shit, man. There ain't nothing, there ain't nothing that can get my mind off anything like music. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what, that's what it is. I just love it. Oh, guys, this is where Jay Shorts gets deep, and he tells people why he got into music, and his answer was freaking deep. Like it really, it hit me. It was, it's really good. What's up? We're doing. It. I'm sorry, man. I'm a rapper, man. Ignore the video, all right? Just say what up to the real quick. God, these McDonald's employees. I wish I was them, man. They're having these famous guys and rappers just come through the drive through coning on their A's. God, they're so lucky. I wish I had that opportunity. I'd love to meet Jay Shorts. Also, guys, Jay Shorts is about to cone on these guys' A's. Do you know what coning is? Pretty much you order an ice cream cone. And instead of grabbing it like a normal human, you grab it like a freaking idiot from the top. And it gets all over you. And the guy working there is like, what the F just happened? It's freaking good. Jay Shorts is gonna do that in this video, man. It's gonna be good. <laughs> what uh, up? How much is it? Damn, man. Obama's fucking all over stuff, ain't it? <laughs> Damn. I used to be able to get this for two dollars. Dude, Jay Shorts needs to quit rapping, and he needs to go the com comedy route, man. This dude's freaking funny. I just hope later on he doesn't that say something that's like super super um, pedophilia like I just hope he doesn't because right now he's killing it the only thing that could ruin this is if he said something that a total pedophile would say and I highly doubt he'll say something like that doing this man start putting flicks on YouTube these little 12 year old girls they're so easy man <laughs> they just don't you're, think you're definitely going to jail for what you just said yeah there's no evidence though man there's no evidence Mm -mm -mm. I wish the car. <sighs> I was I was a big fan of Jay Shorts coming up. Um, in my childhood, I was a, I was a good friend with Jay Shorts, John Michael. Um, when he started his rap career, I thought it was a great choice. I thought he had a good shot at getting big. You know, he had the the humor, he had the skills. And he was musically talented. But with that comment, saying that 12-year-old girls are easy. And this guy says, well, that's definitely going to put you in jail. And then he says they have no proof. And then he goes, mm-mm-mm. Like, Jay Shorts, are you boning 12-year-old girls? Are you boning 12-year-old girls? If you're not boning 12-year-old girls, why the freak would you say you were? Like, is that something that you just like, hey, man, 12-year-old girls are easy. Oh, I've never done it. I would never do it, but they are easy. Good gosh, they're easy. Mm-mm-mm. They are easy. John Michael, you are a pedophile, man. So there, there goes one guy's a rapper. And I hate to say it, but I don't know where John Michael Anderson is these days. Jay Shorts, I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. Because this video was filmed in like 2011, so a long time ago. Uh, so Jay Shorts might very well be in prison for p pedophilia. And I hate that for the guy. But man, man, he said the wrong thing on the video and he uploaded it to YouTube. The freak is wrong with him. Whatever, I'm going to finish the video because I think later in the video, he, uh, he does indeed cone and it's going to be classic. Pedophile or not, it's going to be classic. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Yo, damn. Damn, man. Yo, you ain't got no napkins or nothing, man? I got a hand to you, girl. I just, I don't know, man. Thank you, man. 
Damn, man, this is for my little sister, too, man. Hold on, my drink! <laughs> Yo! Damn! <laughs> Dude, Jay Shorts redeemed himself. God, just when I thought I was out on Jay Shorts for being a pedophile, I am right back in on Jay Shorts. Perf he executed that cone, the conan technique. He executed that perfectly. He even went in for like a little tricker. Like he was grabbing like this, and then at the last second, boom, cone ya. And dude, he freaking Jay Shorts right back at it. And I hope the most successful, most success for that guy. He's. He's witty, he's funny, he's lyrically a genius, and I know the best is going to come from him. I'm going to throw the 12-year-old girl thing to the side. I'm not worried about that right now, because that Conan killed it. All right, guys, so that's about all I got for the Gadsden rappers. Um, if you have any rappers that you want to recommend that are from your hometown that are absolutely killing it, on the same page as Jay Shorts and Pretty Boy, Send the links in the comments below. I would love to find them. I would love to see them. Um, I'm very inspired by these local rappers. You know when they say shop local, rap local. And yeah, I, I would love to hear them. Also, I'm going to see a where are they now and add those pictures at the end of this video. I'm going to try to find, I'm going to try to stalk J Shorts, Pretty Boy. I'm going to try to find them on Facebook put some of their pictures up here in the very end. Just show you guys what they're up to these days. I'm really, I have no idea what they're doing these days. So I'm actually excited about that too. But thank you guys for watching. Have a real good time. Bye bye. Okay guys, so there's a person sleeping in here. So I'm gonna be a little quiet, but I actually could not find anything on Jay Shorts. However, I did find a lot on Pretty Boy. So I'm going to show you guys the pretty boy pictures. They're actually pretty interesting. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I went to pretty boy's Facebook and I found this wedding that he was indeed in. And oh my gosh, it's generic. Just look at the fat guy. Look how generic he is. Um, more genericness. The fat guy continuing to look generic. The ties are not even matching. The ties on these people are not even matching. And what's up with the red shirt? I'll be honest, Pretty Boy looks pretty shameful in these photos. I don't know if he wanted me to leak these photos. Now, guys, um, there is actually a very good chance that Pretty Boy is actually going to see this video. And I'm actually wondering how he's going to respond to it. I know he's the type that might get violent, so I'm actually a little worried about it. Um, I am in China, so that's good, but I'm a little worried.